Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix Steam not opening. So it is going to be a very easy one, so let's get started. So there's actually a few things that you could do here to fix this problem. So the first thing that we could try here is basically shutting down or restarting Steam. So since I already opened up Steam here, I'm just going to close this one. So actually just closing Steam is not enough here. So there's actually a background process running for Steam here and you have to do things to actually shut it down. So just press on your keyboard, control shift escape, and that's going to pop up the task manager. So if you can't press control shift escape on your keyboard, you could also search this here in your windows search at the bottom left of your screen. Now here, once you open up task manager, make sure that you look for Steam here. And from there, you just need to close Steam from your background process. As you can see right now, there's a lot happening here. And from here, you just want to select this one and end task. You just need to do this for all of the open up Steam applications there and just end the task. Now, once you've done that, you need to check another thing here just to make sure that you actually close Steam. So go ahead and go to the lower right of your screen. That's where the hid show hidden icons. And you want, what you want to do here is if you see Steam here, you just need to right click on it and just click on cube and that uh, quit. And that, that will actually close Steam from your background processes as well. Now, once you've done that, try open up Steam and see if that solves your issue. Now, if that doesn't work, we have our second solution. So for our second solution, I would suggest you to try opening it at as administrator so usually when you open up an app here you just right click on it and you want to choose run as administrator here the option here but if you want to run this every time as administrator then you what you want to do is you want to right click on it and you want to go to properties now here you want to go to compatibility and what you want to do here is you want to enable the setting that says run this program as administrator under the settings section of your screen under compatibility. Now here let's just click on this one and just click on apply and click on OK. So every time we actually open up Steam it's going to open up it up as administrator instead of right clicking on on it every time and just clicking on run as administrator every time you open up steam if that doesn't work we have another solution so for our next solution we want to check if there are any updates on windows so at the lower left of your screen that's where this windows search is you want to type in the following which is check for updates or just basically update and just click on that so what you want to do here is you want to check for updates on your Windows and install that into your computer. As you can see right now, I have the optional quality update available and I want to install this one into my computer. Just click on download and install and it's going to install automatically into your device. So once you've done that, the next thing that you want to do is you want to check if there are any updates on your GPU itself. So there's actually multiple ways to update this one. So if you're using AMD, I would suggest you to download and install the AMD driver onto the tech. So if you're using Intel, then I would suggest you to use the Intel driver update utility. Now, if you're using Dell, use Dell update utility. You could search for this following softwares via Google and they'll have the package or that .exe file already available for you. You just need to install that and update your GPU. Now, the other thing that we could do here is we first want to check if our internet in connection is actually stable. Sometimes having unstable internet connection can actually affect of you not being able to log in or access Steam. So let's just check into our browser here. Let's say internet speed test. And from here, you want to use the first one, which is speed test by Okla, or you could either use the Google test speed here. So let's just choose this one. And from here, you just need to test your internet connection and see if that is actually stable as of the moment. Now, another thing that we could do here is we could actually delete the beta file or folder within the Steam app folders. So for you to do that is you want to go to your folder at the lower left of your screen. That's where your file explorer is. And you want to go to Windows and Programs. Now here you want to look for program files under times 86. Open this up and you want to look for Steam. So Steam is kind of in the S section for this one. So let's just click on that. And what you want to do here is you want to look for package. 
Now on their package, you should be able to see the beta folder here. So what you want to do is you want to right click on it and you want to delete this folder. So once you delete that, you just need to make sure that you restart Steam and check if that actually solves your issue. And finally, the last and final solution that we could suggest you to do, which is actually just reinstalling Steam into your computer. So to uninstall Steam, then I would suggest you to uh, basically search it under the window search here and just basically typing uninstall. So here you'll see the add or remove program section. And from here, you just need to search for Steam. So let's just search real quickly for Steam here. So in here, just click on it and just click on uninstall to uninstall Steam. And from there, re-download Steam and install the Steam application again into your computer. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.